Are you thinking of starting an LLC in Colorado? It's a smart move if you are. An LLC will protect your personal assets, such as home and car, from certain kinds of lawsuits. What's more, an LLC will boost your business credibility. That's because the LLC abbreviation in the name will let everyone know your business has been registered with the state. So stick around as we go through the five most crucial steps in setting up an LLC in Colorado. While we're here, we'll also guide you through post-formation tasks. Don't skip them or your LLC might be administratively dissolved and won't be able to do business in the state. Step one, choosing a name. Step one, choosing a name, is generally quite simple, yet it's a task that offers an exciting opportunity for creativity. Finding a name that authentically embodies your brand is a challenge that can prove to be very rewarding. However, you'll need to make sure the name complies with Colorado's naming guidelines. Here are the most important ones. The name of your LLC must contain the term or abbreviation limited liability company, limited liability company with limited abbreviated, limited liability co, limited liability co with limited abbreviated, limited LLC with periods after each letter, LLC or LTD. Your LLC must be unique. It cannot be the same or closely similar to the name of another entity authorized to do business in the state. Neither can it resemble a name that's been reserved for future use by another business. You can easily check the availability of your chosen name for free by performing a two-step search. First, do a name availability search by putting in the exact name you want to use. This tool will return either the name is available or the name is not available, so you'll know for sure. But what the search won't tell you is if there's a name that's closely similar. You should check that too. You don't want the name you've chosen being confused with another, even though it's actually unique. This can happen when your intended name includes a popular word. For example, in Colorado, there are dozens of businesses with the names that begin with the word Acme. To be sure there's no similar name, do a business database search. This search will display names that are the same and similar to your name. But don't use this search alone because it won't tell you if your name is available. If the name is available, you can reserve it through the Colorado Secretary of State's file a form portal before actually forming your LLC. You'll have to file a statement of reservation of name by selecting to reserve a name for later use and provide your name, mailing address, and the name you want to reserve. The filing fee is $25. Name reservations are valid for 120 days. If your time runs out, you'll have to file a statement of renewal of reservation of name by doing a record identification or ID search and cough up another 25 bucks. To find all these important links and learn more about the naming guidelines set out by the Colorado Secretary of State, visit our Colorado formation page. Also, once you confirm the name is available, snag the domain for your LLC website ASAP. A well-chosen domain name will make it easier for customers to find your website and so improve the chances your business will be a success. Click below to check domain availability. A domain can cost as little as $2.99 per year. Even if you're not quite ready to launch a website, securing the URL early is a smart thing to do. Step two, finding a registered agent. The second step involves finding a registered agent. This is an individual or business entity that will receive official documents on behalf of your LLC. This could be communications from federal, state, and local authorities, or most importantly, service of process. Process are the papers you will be served if someone sues your LLC. This makes it crucial for the registered agent to have a street address in Colorado. A PO box will not be acceptable. If the registered agent is to be an individual, that person must be over the age of 18 and have their primary residence in Colorado. You can be your own registered agent or appoint a friend, family member, or someone who works for the LLC. If you choose an entity instead, that entity must have its usual place of business in Colorado and be authorized to conduct business in the state. You'll have to get the entity's consent to act as registered agent before submitting its name. An important thing to be aware of is that a registered agent's name and address appears on the Articles of Organization, which makes it public information. Like a lot of entrepreneurs, you may decide that's a good reason not to be a registered agent. No problem. Signing up with a commercial registered agent is the way to go because it's the agent's name and address that will appear on the public documents. Paying for a registered agent service costs $10 a month or less, and besides protecting your privacy, it frees you from paperwork, saving hours that may be dedicated to your business. If you use Northwest to form your LLC, they'll provide agent services for free for one whole year. We like them. They've been doing this for over 20 years. They'll scan all your mail so you can check it virtually. Check the link below for a deal we brokered with them. You can only get it at that low price through our link. At Truric, our mission is to offer all our resources and information for free, but we support our work by using affiliate links, meaning we earn a commission on many of the amazing deals we've negotiated for you. Full transparency, Northwest is one such commissioned partner. Step three, filing your LLC articles of organization. 
Next up is filing LLC articles of organization. This document includes crucial information such as your LLC's name and principal office address, its registered agent's name and address, the name of the person forming the LLC, and whether the LLC will be managed by managers or members. Remember, you must get the registered agent's consent before including its name in the application. In Colorado, articles of organization can only be filed online. No paper filings are accepted. The articles can be filed at the File of Form portal. Start the process by selecting the Limited Liability Company LLC form. You'll be guided through page by page to enter the name, address, and other information about the LLC. The filing fee for that is $50. If your LLC is up and running in another state and you want to do business in Colorado, you'll need to file a Foreign Entity Authority Statement. Once again, there's only one way to do this filing, and that's through the online file of form portal by selecting Foreign Entity. The process for a foreign LLC, one not formed in Colorado, is a little more complicated than for a domestic LLC, one that's formed in Colorado. That's because it's quite possible that there may be a domestic entity with the same name as the foreign entity. If that's the case, you'll have to give your LLC another name for it to use in Colorado. In other words, your foreign LLC will have to be given an assumed or DBA name. To learn more about how to apply for a state or foreign entity authority, SOFEA, before you start, review this tutorial. The filing fee for a foreign entity authority statement is $100. Step four, creating an LLC operating agreement. In Colorado, an LLC is governed according to the terms of its operating agreement. But what is an operating agreement? It's any agreement of all of the members as to the affairs of the LLC in the conduct of its business. So it could include many things. Also, the law doesn't require the agreement to be in writing. It can be entirely oral or implied by conduct. But an agreement covering dozens of issues that's not in writing Sounds like a recipe for disaster. It would certainly be better to commit your operating agreement to paper. That way, there can be an impartial record of the agreement's terms. A written agreement will reduce the risk of conflict between members. A written operating agreement is an internal document that is not accessible to the public. Among other things, it will list the owners of the LLC, that is, its members, what rights and votes they are entitled to, how profit is to be shared, and the rules and procedures on running the LLC. Some banks may request an operating agreement when opening a business bank account or applying for a loan. Obviously, you can only comply if the agreement is in writing. To make things easier for you, we've provided a free template on our Colorado LLC operating agreement page. You'll find that in the description. Step five, obtaining an LLC EIN, employer identification number. The final step is to obtain an EIN, which is a federal tax identification number. This unique number allows the IRS to identify and track your business's taxes and filing status. You'll need an EIN to open a business bank account, manage federal and state taxes, and hire employees. The process is super simple and completely free of charge through the IRS. Just fill out the online form. Post-formation steps. After you've successfully formed your LLC, there are a few important things to keep in mind. There is a periodic report that has to be filed once a year. It's meant to ensure that certain basic information about the LLC, such as its address and the name and address of its registered agent, is up to date. You can find out more about the periodic report and how to file it on the Colorado Secretary of State's website. Next, keep your business assets and transactions separate from the personal ones to maintain your LLC's limited liability protection. Mixing business and personal transactions is commingling and will expose you to the risk that creditors can pierce the corporate veil. That is, go after your personal assets to satisfy your business's debts. Since an LLC is actually a separate legal entity or person, it should have a bank account or business credit card in its own name. This will also help the LLC to build business credit, which would be separate from your personal credit. Find our preferred resources and cards by following the guide below. Finally, having business insurance is wise and is often required as all businesses face risks. And of course, some types of insurance such as auto insurance or workers' compensation are a legal requirement. And when you're ready to set up a website, consider GoDaddy. GoDaddy is accredited by the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, ICANN, as a domain registrar. A domain registrar assigns website names and assigns IP addresses to those names. GoDaddy is another one of our commissioned partners who help keep our work free for everyone. Also remember, a service like Northwest can simplify a lot of these processes and payments, saving you time and effort so you can focus on actually running your business. Northwest will also provide agent services for free for one year too. If you sign up now, don't wait. And that's it. You've now learned how to set up an LLC in Colorado. All the resources mentioned in this video can be found in the description below. 
We hope you found this video to be really useful. If you have any more questions, explore the rest of our channel and website for free resources and guides to start your Colorado business. We've compiled lists of the best local Colorado accountants, lawyers, and registered agents on our site. If you have any questions, hit us up.